some say that almost two million people die in the killing fields. Nobody understand why so many people were killed in that time. There was a real mystery and it didn't seem like the story had really been told. So I was interested in going there and finding out about maybe if there was a way of sort of uncovering what had really happened. When I got there, I met Sambat and discovered that he had a real personal interest in it because his mother, father and his brother had all died in that period. So we joined forces and we decided to make the film together. First, I remember when I was small, the American bombing aircraft. And then the war was over. We don't know who controlled the country at the time. We just know them as Khmer Rouge. In English, Khmer Rouge. The film is told in a dramatic way, so we wanted to tell this past historical story in a present tense kind of way. And that took a long time to sort of be comfortable about what scenes could we do next and so on. There is only two on the top of the Khmer Rouge. Pol Pot, they call him brother number one and Nunchi, brother number two. One of the problems was dealing with brother number two. His interviews were lengthy and very complicated. One of the first things that I had to do was to sit down and having had them translated, was to work through what kind of storyline we could create out of these very, very scary interviews, but also quite difficult to understand. <laughs> The northwest of Cambodia, the area where most killing happen. These people have been in denial for 30 years. In some cases, they've killed thousands of people and they don't feel good about it, and yet the entire society hates them. So they've shut down all of their comments about this, even to their own families. And Sambat took many years, really, to sort of become more and more intimate with them, to the point where he helped them to open the door of starting to say, yes, I did some killing. And once they did that, they remember as much as they can, and they want to do as much as they can to try and atone for what they did, but also try and do something positive for the new generation so that they can have a genuine understanding of what this terrible period was. It's important to realize that when people have done this kind of stuff, but later they're ready to confess to it and acknowledge their responsibility in it, that is a really huge thing. <laughs> I think you need to respect that, and I think that's a really important, certainly a spirit in the way we've made the film, and I hope that's something that people will take away from it when they watch it. I want to know if Nunchi fell in his heart, he did wrong or not.
Oh, no.